working the ears is one of the most important things that you can do. And for many, many reasons, what we found is that it really helps the health of your animal. And the reason that it does is that in the ears are connections to all parts of the body, just like we humans have in our own ear. And actually what we found is that by teaching people to work their animal's ears in this way, they learn the value of working their own ears so that in a way your cat will become your teacher. If you have a cat who is car sick, which many cats come to us with this problem, or a cat who just really gets upset when it's time to go to their veterinarians, stroking the ears from the base of the ear gently all the way out to the tips and my forefinger is folded back and gently inserted into the ear so it's back against the side here and I support the ear as I stroke in this way. That's a girl. Now sometimes they don't like this in the beginning and you just have to really support them under the chin like this, make sure you're not choking your kitty. That's a girl. And I don't squeeze her, I just gently contain her so that she feels supported. That's nice. You do both ears, and I, I stroke in a long pattern from the base of the ear, just sort of, just gently stretching the base of the ear a little bit with the cat. They seem to appreciate that because they often tighten their ears up so that that releases the ear and releases stress. You may have noticed that I was doing some little hair strokes and slides like this in the beginning because Isabel was a little nervous when she first got up here on this couch with all these cameras on her. So when your cat's a little bit nervous or doesn't like to be handled, try this very gentle stroking on the long-haired cats. On the shorter-haired cats, you can just sort of take the skin and roll it just gently between your four fingers and thumb and find a way that your cat likes it so that even though the hair is short, you can still kind of get a little bit of a slide on it. And the reason that I think it works so well is that the, apparently there is a, a neurological effect on the slides. And we've done this for many, many years. I had a German neurologist in one of my horse trainings many years ago, and we were working the tail of a very nervous stallion who did not want to be touched at all. And we were doing these just gentle slides, and we found that when we did this, that he settled and was quiet within about 10 minutes. This was a horse that normally kicked when anyone got behind him and did not like the contact. And the neurologist turned to me and he said, that's a very interesting effect it's having, that if you think that the tail is an extension of the nervous system and that you're really having a profound effect just from these simple hair slides. So you can do this all over your cat when you find in the beginning that perhaps they don't like the touches as much or they're just too nervous at first. That's nice. 